All right, let's see what we do here. All right, we managed to get situated here. We got all sideways on the last case. People didn't show up, and then they did show up, and. Good morning, Your Honor. Good morning. Nice to see you. Long time no see. Yes, it has been. Uh, we've been uh, under lockdown, as you know, for a year and a half. And uh, we've been conducting all of our matters by Zoom, certainly all civil matters. And uh, there hasn't been much need for people to appear by limited appearance. So you haven't had to come down to Centerville, but at least you can come virtually. We'll see whether this defendant shows up. We had a little struggle with our first case this morning. People weren't here on time and we got stopped and started and stopped and started, but I think we're good to go here. Has your, nine, your Honor, has your barber uh, uh, <laughs> out of business or what? <laughs> same, as, same as yours. It's a long story, but uh, about <laughs> When COVID hit, I quit cutting my hair, and then I just quit cutting my hair. So people shouted me on the street, get a haircut. <laughs> but it's made me more tolerant of other people's personal appearance. It's amazing to me how people feel comfortable commenting on my appearance, telling me I look terrible or otherwise. So when I have people in here uh, who have a face tattoo or a Gauge with something, purple hair. It's like, who am I to criticize how someone else carries their personal appearance? So, to some okay. extent, it's been a humbling social experiment, but it's pretty much universally disliked. But here we are. So, I suppose when people stop telling me to get it cut, is when I'll probably cut it. <laughs> anyway, so it's here we are. I cut when I cut my beard, right? Yes, I'll do that when you do that. Uh, it's a social experiment, and it is interesting to me, as I said, how comfortable other people are criticizing my appearance, and then it makes me more cognizant of when I've been critical of other people's appearance. So it, it's just part of my professional learning education. Well, let's talk about this case. It's got kind of a tortured history. This is Jefferson Capital Systems, LLC versus Mark W. Ripplinger. File number is 201769GC. Mr. McNulty, would you put your appearance on the record? Yes, Your Honor. I am appearing, uh, 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 my, my appearance is limited on behalf of plaintiff for the purpose of today's hearing only. Uh, my key number is 42394. And I am appearing on behalf of Jefferson Capital Systems LLC uh, and Mary Jane Elliott. All right. Well, I'll go through a little of the history. As I said, it's kind of tortured, but plaintiff did a nice job in their response. Uh, 
the defendant was sued for not a whole lot of money, $584.16. Uh, he filed a sort of an answer saying, hey, I want to know more about this debt. So they sent it to him. And we had a hearing scheduled for May 19th, and he failed to appear. So a judgment entered the amount of $584.16, $103 in costs and attorney fees for a total default judgment of $762.16. <clears throat> uh, that was on April 19th. On April 30th, I guess that's within 21 days of the entry of the default, which is why we acknowledged it. He sent a letter. Uh, it's dated April 26, but it's date stamped April 30th. To whom it may concern, I received a summons on January 24th stating I was being sued by Jefferson Capital Systems. I responded to the court on January 26th. I have no idea who Jefferson Capital Systems is. I requested proof of the debt, where the debt originated from, and I have this right under the Fair Debt Collections Practices Act. Jefferson Capital has never contacted me, given me an opportunity to pay the debt, or provided me with any proof. I have no idea who they are or how to contact them. On Saturday, April 24th, I received notice the judgment had been made and I owe the alleged debt plus court costs. I have not seen any proof of where this debt came from. So he didn't show up. He had multiple notices, and for whatever reason, he did not appear. He goes on to close, if this is indeed the final judgment and I need to start making payments, the paperwork does not show me how much the payments are or where to send them. I would also need receipts showing payments. So he then files this motion to set aside the default. Plaintiff sends a response. There was a 42-page motion for summary disposition, but they set forth their brief giving the history, and uh, so there are several issues. A isn't here, which makes it easy. B, he never set aside a, or set forth a meritorious defense. And C, they sent him everything that he requested, showing proof of the debt that had been acquired by Jefferson Capital Systems. And now he isn't here once again. So uh, are you simply going to ask to deny the defendant's motion to set aside the default? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, I would incorporate uh, plaintiff's brief in opposition to the motion to set aside the um, motion the, the, uh, motion for summary judgment, which was granted. I understand that the court is treating this as a motion to set aside a default judgment. Under MCR 2.603D, uh, the defendant is obligated to show two things to set aside a default judgment. Uh, first, that there is good cause for failing to appear. He has not shown up today. Again, uh, he has not set forth any good cause for failing to appear uh, in the past uh, when the motion was scheduled and, and heard. Um, and additionally, he would have to show, uh, set forth uh, an affidavit uh, showing that there is a meritorious, meritorious defense to the action. He has not done that either. And obviously, there is no meritorious defense to the action. Um, and uh, the plaintiff in this case has sent the documentation uh, providing validation of the debt numerous times. Um, uh, including uh, uh, with the motion for summary judgment as well. Um, so I would ask the court to deny the motion um, uh, and uh, uh, allow the, um, the uh, summary judgment to stand. I think it actually was a default, we'll call it. But anyway, he isn't here now. This is a lot of rigmarole for a $584 debt.
and defendant fails to appear. For hearing he requested. Rather than have you guys go through the effort, I just took 60 seconds and did an order. Uh, to set aside the default is denied. Uh, defendant fails to show meritorious defense and defendant fails to appear for the hearing he requested. Original judgments will stand. Thank you, Your Honor. I appreciate the clerk completing the order. All right, well, it just took a second. Let's see, what was the date of that original order? I think it was April 20, April 19th. I think the court actually entered the judgment on April 22. Yeah, that's what it would seem to say. I signed it on April 19th. So oh, okay. All right. All right, you'll get a copy of that, or Mary Jane Elliott will. Nice to see you again. Maybe at some point. But, you know, even when we do go back to a completely open courtroom, these hearings are optimal for Zoom use. Uh, civil pretrials are going to continue to be done remotely like this. And so unless you want to get an order from Yoders, it'll probably be Zoom the next time we see each other. Well, that's um, not going to be good for my business, Your Honor. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure it is, and I think that limited appearance business has about uh, evaporated during this time, but these types of hearings are very appropriate for our use of Zoom. We do struggle with some criminal cases and we can't at this point do any jury trials, but uh, otherwise it's business as usual. And it puts less miles on your car, I'll give you that. But it uh, does. I, I bought a new car last july i don't have four thousand miles on it. <laughs> <laughs> well there's an upside and the downside to everything we do all right well that takes care of this case we've sort of extended a little bit mr ripplinger isn't here i'm not sure what his situation is but uh he probably wasn't going to prevail even if he did show up but it certainly made it easier when he did not all right, uh, that completes this record. I'll see you again in the virtual world. Maybe you'll yeah. shave. Maybe I'll have a haircut by then. But <laughs> don't, I, don't <laughs> I don't think either of us should do either. <laughs> okay. All I'll right. See you again. All right. Uh, we'll stop our live feed. Our next.